Hi and welcome to another video from the Market Outlook. So in today's video, we'll be looking at Alibaba and looking at the technical analysis from Alibaba. Starting from the weekly time frame, we are looking at Alibaba trading at $170. And first out the gate, if you're here just for the direction, in my view, I feel that Alibaba is in a very bad technical analysis position. The technical analysis for Alibaba is very bearish. And so far, if you're looking to buy into Alibaba, it's really for the long-term investment. You really believe in the fundamentals of the company and you want to get it at a cheaper price. So that's for Alibaba in my view in a short form. Going deeper into a technical analysis for Alibaba, you can see that it's right now trading at about $170. And that's really a test of the support right now. You can see I've drawn the purple box over here. It's really retesting the support that was first formed in July 2019. So I think this support zone is quite a strong one. However, I'd like to have a caveat that right now, even though it's retesting support, there is no big bullish signs of reversals, be it a double bottom or, or simply just a good price action formation for Alibaba to go towards the upside. See lower lows being formed, lower highs being formed, just based on the price action on the weekly time frame alone. You can see that the EMAs over here, they are very big overhanging resistance for Baba to overcome as well. And also if you look at the Traders Dynamic Index, the market sentiment line, which is the yellow line, is in the sell zone under the 50. And the RSI is also in the sell zone under 50, which is the green line over here. And these are very bearish indications, especially on the weekly time frame. So if you are in to buy BABA on the weekly time frame at this cheaper price, as people like to say, it's really for the long-term haul and you really believe in the company. So if you go to the daily time frame, you can see that there is a slight double bottom being formed with a higher high for the second leg and this is something that I would say wouldn't be a very big major factor in my decision being because that right now there is really not much of a bullish momentum that Alibaba can go up towards. You see all these EMAs, the 200, 800, 50, 21, all these EMAs are really very strong resistance for Alibaba to overcome. So if it is able to overcome these EMAs, we can see better price action, higher highs, higher lows. We can then look to enter Alibaba or trade Alibaba based on those technical analysis. Of course, caveat, as I always say, if you are believing in the fundamental analysis, I think this might be a good price for you to enter, but do trade safe because this could be a falling knife. So lastly, you look at the folly time frame. You can see very clearly that currently Alibaba is also very bearish you can see that it's consolidating here and looks like a bearish flag pattern that i'll just draw over here so you can see a bearish flag that you can see out over here you can see it slowly consolidating up and you might see a further retest of this support structure where it goes and retest this and hopefully if you're long alibaba it can go up again but you can see again as well the same thing as the daily time frame that the resistance is really overhanging and we do have to overcome much of the resistance over here. Trader Dynamic Index, same story, just that it's slightly better. The RSI is above the market sentiment line, but both of them are still in the sell zone. So Alibaba currently is still bearish. Um, I think that right now, in short, like I said, if you're in it for the long haul, I think it might be a better price for you. Of course, for that, you have to look at the fundamental analysis of Alibaba. So that's my take on Alibaba. Do trade safe, especially if you're trying to long or try to buy off the low. And if you did enjoy this video, do remember to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.